Hi everyone, this is Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of Port Huron Schools, and today I'm going to provide students with some tips for taking better photos with a Chromebook. We know that many students are being required right now to submit photos from a Chromebook as part of their online assignments. Google has this support article right here called Use Camera Features on Your Chromebook, and I will link to this article in the video description below. But what I'd like to do right now is to take a look at the camera app, which is found on all Chromebooks, and you can easily get to it if it isn't pinned already to your shelf by clicking on the launcher. And the launcher is this little circular button in the bottom left-hand corner of the shelf. You can also get to it by pressing the search button. That's the third button up on the left side of your keyboard. Pressing that button will bring this up. And then to quickly get to the camera app, just type in CAM, C-A-M should be all you'll need, and then click camera. If students would like to pin this to the shelf, just do a two-finger tap on the touchpad and then pin it to the shelf. And you can see right now that I already have it pinned to the shelf. I'm going to click on it to launch it. And here is the camera app right now in action. If you choose the default photo setting, it will give you a widescreen version of your photo. And in most cases, students will want to focus on a particular aspect of the photo or to zoom or crop one particular area. So to do that, I'd recommend choosing this setting instead, which is square, directly below photo. Click on square. It will square up the photo and not include the left and right areas, which are often unwanted. So if I wanted to take a picture of this, for example, it would be a lot easier to focus on something specific in this format than it would be in this format. So that's my first tip, choosing square. Another tip would be to zoom in as much as possible on only the area that you want. Try to get as close as you can, and then you won't have to edit later. Another tip. Since the camera app does both still pictures and video, why not just choose video and then tap on the red button to start recording. And now you're recording video. You get a three, two, one countdown. And now position your object and then start using this button right here to take little video snapshots till you find the one that you like the best. Then stop recording the video and then go down to the bottom right corner, and this will allow you to go to the gallery. This little circular button will open up your photo gallery. We won't need the video. So come up to the top right corner and click on the trash can. Delete the video, and then using the right and left arrows, you can quickly go through some of the photos you took from that video. And you might not know this, but there's a little pencil button up here in the gallery. If you click on the pencil, it will allow you to open up your photo editing tools down here at the bottom. One of them is a one-click fix button. This button right here will actually take the brightness and contrast and allow you to fix the picture with one click. Just to the right of that is the crop tool. If you click on the crop tool, you can position your mouse cursor and then just choose the part of the photo that you would like to include. So let's say I don't want this bottom part here. Notice that my cursor is now in the shape of a double arrow. I can click and drag up and cut out the parts of the photo that I don't want. I don't want this part over here either. Maybe I don't want the top either. So I'll pull that down. And now I only have the part that I want. So when you're done, just click the done button in the bottom right corner. And now we've cropped that photo so it's exactly the way I want it. If you made a mistake, you have the undo arrow and the redo arrow. You also, and I've seen this happen quite often, a photo might have been taken with a phone and transferred to the Chromebook by email, and it may be in need of rotating. The rotation buttons are right here. You can rotate left or you can rotate right. This button here allows you to change the brightness and contrast with the slider bars. Again, when you have the photo exactly the way you want it, just click Done, and then you can X out of this screen. 
Now we're back to the camera app. I'd like to show you a few settings in the camera app that you might not know about. You have a timer button down here in the bottom left corner. The timer can be changed. It can also be turned off. If you turn it off, it'll have a line through it. But I prefer having the timer turned on. Just above that is the grid line button. If you click on the grid button, you will see grid lines and you can position your object within those grid lines so it's straight in either direction. And then take your photo. And then you can change the mirroring button by just toggling it back and forth. Above that, you have the settings, the overall settings for the Chromebook camera. You can change the grid type. Below that, you have the timer duration. We know that the typical timer is three seconds. This will give you time to make those corrections. So give yourself a little bit more time using a 10 second timer to get that photo just the way you want it. Now I'll close out of the camera and look for the Files app. If the Files app is not already pinned to the shelf, click on the launcher, which is this little circular button in the lower left hand corner, and then look for the Files app by typing in Files. And if you'd like to pin it to the shelf, do a two finger tap on your touchpad and choose Pin to Shelf. These buttons down here at the bottom can be moved around. I like the camera app and the files app to be side by side. Then open up the files app and you'll be able to see where the pictures you took with your Chromebook ended up. You can see them under images, but they will probably be downloaded to the downloads section under my files. So click on downloads and here you can see all the pictures that were taken with this Chromebook. They're all time and date stamped. If these photos are being turned in for class, you'll want to rename them using your name so your teacher knows who you are. Do a two finger tap and choose rename. When you're finished typing in the name, press enter. And now if I want to move this to my Google Drive, I would click on its icon and then drag down on top of Google Drive, hold it for a few seconds. If you hold it for a few seconds, it will open up all of your folders. And then if you want to drop it into a specific folder, just drop it right into that folder and you're good to go. And that's how you move a picture from your Chromebook to your Google Drive. If you go back to your downloads, you'll be able to see the rest of the pictures you took. If you click on any of the photos, you'll be back into the gallery where you can do further photo editing with the pencil. If you don't need any of these photos anymore, you can just click on the top one, hold down the shift key and click on the bottom one, and you can remove the clutter on your Chromebook by selecting several photos to delete all at once. Do a two finger tap and press delete. Close out of the downloads. And now let's take a look at some more recommended tips for taking photos with your Chromebook. Number one, make sure you write dark enough for the camera to see. Thin squiggly pencil lines will be difficult for a teacher to see, so always make them dark enough. Make sure that you have plenty of lighting. Darkly lit room photos will never show up well on a Chromebook. Use a clipboard or a copy stand or something similar to attach your work to so that it's flat and not see-through when being held up to the camera. Always make sure that you're nice and close up to the screen when you take your photos so it fills up that screen and you won't have to do a lot of editing later. And look at the image before you send it. If you can't read it, chances are your teacher won't be able to either. So keep these tips in mind while taking your photo with the Chromebook. And now a bonus tip. If you have a Chromebook like this one, the Dell 3189, also known as the Chromebook 11, it folds back into a tablet. If you're taking photos or a video, Use the up and down volume button, also known as the rocker button, to activate the snapshot feature while you're taking a video with the Chromebook. We'll activate the countdown timer and you can then take stills from your video. You'll hear this sound and then it'll take the picture. Thanks for joining me today for my rather in-depth look at taking better photos with a Chromebook. I'm Mark Rep. Please join me for another tech tip. Bye for now.